Today we are learning about the Pinwheels for Peace art installation project. We are going to be using this project as a whole school to participate in the International Day of Peace. Our essential question today is, what is a pinwheel and what does it have to do with art and peace? This project combines science and math and art. The science is pinwheels can be used to measure wind speed. So if the wind is blowing really fast, they spin really fast. Our learning goal today is that you will be able to use lines, shapes, value, color, and peaceful symbols to design a creative pinwheel. A4 would be a pinwheel that is creative, neat, colorful, and complete. It should have four or more lines, four or more interesting shapes, and four or more peaceful symbols. Both sides should be decorated and the student should be able to put the pinwheel together safely and help others. So are you ready to design an awesome creative pinwheel that really, really works? All you need to get started is, of course, your imagination and a square piece of paper. Now this paper I've already cut into a square for you and this is the math part. It has four equal signs, sides. What you are going to do is take your square and fold it in half so that you have a rectangle, nope, triangle, not a rectangle, triangle. Now you're going to take your triangle and fold it in half again so that you have a smaller triangle, just like this. Once you've done that, then you open your paper up and you should have two lines. These are called diagonal lines. Inside of each line, I wrote one of the elements of art with my pencil. For a pinwheel, we have to decorate both sides of the paper. So on the front side, we are going to be using the elements of art. And we're going to be using line, shape, color, and you can use value or form. So in this one, I'm going to put, let's see, maybe texture. That would be kind of cool. That would be really neat. Now, on the back, I'm going to draw at least four symbols of peace. So I could draw something that reminds me of peace as a happy face, a heart. These are all symbols of peace a peace sign, and even a hand like this, holding the fingers out, that's a symbol of peace. We're always going to draw everything with pencil first, and what works best, now I have four symbols of peace, are crayons or colored pencils. Markers don't do well for this project because if they get wet outside, when we take them outside, they start to run. So I'm going to draw some lines. I have wavy lines, dotted lines, zigzag lines, and vertical lines. In the shapes, I can draw any shapes I want. There are geometric shapes like squares or diamonds, and there's organic shapes that look kind of like a paint splatter. So I can draw organic and geometric shapes. On the color, I could draw a rainbow. And on the texture, we can actually put texture underneath and add texture to it. Now, once I finish drawing my designs, then I am going to color them in with crayons or colored pencils. And then all you have to do, now mine isn't finished being colored, but once you're finished coloring with crayons, then you're going to need to use your scissors, and we're always safe with scissors. You are going to cut each corner, but you're not going to cut all the way through. You're only going to go halfway. So from here, and you want to stop right there. You're going to do that on each corner, watching carefully 
that you don't accidentally cut your fingers. And you don't want to cut all the way through because then your pinwheel will fall apart. Now, once I've cut each corner, you can see I have four corners, I'm going to start and I'm going to bend. I'm not going to fold this corner into the middle. I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to bend and skip, bend and skip, bend and skip until I've gone all the way around the circle. And your pinwheel should look sort of like this. Now for this step, you're going to need to be extra careful because we have to use a push pin and we're going to need to get a pencil with an eraser. Now the push pin, after you bend each corner, you're not going to do every corner, you're going to skip one. So you do bend and skip, bend and skip. You are going to take the push pin and really carefully, see that little pointy part? You don't want to poke your finger. You're going to push it through the middle and it should come out the other side. And then you're going to take the push pin and you want to very carefully push it into the eraser. And I can help you with this as well. Once you finish putting it onto the eraser, then you are all finished. And you can put your pinwheel. Hi, me. That's my son, Marty. You can put your pinwheel in your teacher's box. So this box says Miss Craig. If you're in Miss Craig's class, put your pinwheel in Miss Craig's box. I can't wait to see all the awesome pinwheels. And like I said, I haven't colored mine in. I definitely need it to be colorful. So I'm going to take my push pin out and I'm going to color it in like I did with my big pinwheel.